our friend who gave a eulogy at Jeff's service uh, described him as a tall, happy guy. And, you know, that's exactly, that sums him up well. You know, he was six foot four to my five foot two. And he was a happy guy. And his favorite saying was, take a chill pill. And he also always said, you have to laugh through things. 20 years later, Jeff Coombs lives on in how Christy Coombs, his soulmate, still lives her life. Jeff died on the first plane to hit the Twin Towers. He was on a business trip to the West Coast. People say what they remember the most about him was his, his smile. Does it feel like 20 years since that day? I mean, sometimes it does. I, I think about Jeff and I and where we would have been today. You know, years ago, well, obviously years ago, um, he gave me a little ceramic figurine of two old people sitting on a park bench. Um, and he's reading either a book or the newspaper, and she's sitting there, I think, knitting or something. And it's about this big. And he gave it to me once and said, this is going to be you and me one day. And uh, it just makes me realize what we've lost, you know, what we've lost out on together, mm -hmm. um, that we should be celebrating grandparenting together and we should be empty nesting together. The ache of loss is always there, but Christy is a firm believer in positive energy. She has found profound and sustaining joy in the three children she and Jeff parented. And yet the mom in her is still scarred by the events of that day. I remember the feeling of fear and dread I had having to tell my kids. That's what I remember the most. At the time, Christy and Jeff's children were 7, 11, and 13. They have proven as resilient as their mother, but this year they've chosen to commemorate 9-11 very privately as they start their own families. My two older ones are married. I have a grandson that is the light of my world. Um, and my youngest is getting married in October. The kids are very private. You know, they, they've moved forward without wanting to be the 9-11 kid yeah. and uh, understood. Yeah. When she's not enjoying her children and grandson, Christy is keeping busy, traveling, being a voice for 9-11 families and an advocate for military families and keeping Jeff's memory alive through the foundation started in his name to help local students and families in need. The biggest yearly fundraiser is the Jeff Coombs Memorial Road Race. It is a day for families, put on by the entire Abington community, and this year will be the final run. It feels right now. You know, before it didn't feel right, and now it feels right. Yeah. It's going to be a really, really bittersweet day, like it always is, but it's going to be bittersweet in the sense that we are ushering this to the real finish line. All this paying it forward comes from another memory from that gut-wrenching, life-changing day 20 years ago. I remember the compassion that was shown my family. This year on 9-11, Christy will mark the anniversary with a quiet day of service, helping put together care packages for our troops overseas and stopping by to support the Red Cross blood drive at Fenway Park. And think about Jeff and remember and be grateful for where I am.